Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you five types of Chanel bags that I would like to avoid. However, those are just my personal opinion. If you have any bags that I mentioned in today's video, please don't get offended. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first type of the bag that I would like to avoid, that is the Chanel bag with all metal strap, except the Chanel Iconic 2.55 reissue bag i think this is totally different from what i'm talking about in today's video i know this recent years should not come out a lot of seasonal bag with all metal strap from my personal opinion, I feel it's just missing something. It lost the Chanel bag aesthetic. Personally, I prefer the leather woven chain strap instead of the all metal strap. I feel it uh, looks more classic, more like a Chanel bag. What do you guys think? I think one of the reasons people like this type of the strap because recent years they do come out adjustable buckle to adjust the chain shorter or longer whenever you like it and uh, sometimes they will make the chain very special adding some more design on the chain to attract more people to buy in their bag i think those are the reasons that people like all metal strap number two type of the bag i would like to avoid is the any chanel bag with the enamel turn lock instead of the all metal turn lock which is just upset from the first one yes they are beautiful but for my personal opinion i do feel it's a little bit a cheap look so therefore i try to avoid this type of the bag and i also noticed that recent years it should now come out a lot of the bag with this type of the turn lock instead of the all metal lock i don't know why maybe they want to save the cost i prefer the chanel turn lock to be all metal just like a chanel 2.55 reissue or chanel classic flap turn lock with all metal i think it's a simple and a classic these are the second type of the bag i would like to avoid so moving on to the number three type of the bag which is combined first and the second i try to avoid the chanel bag with the metal chain adding couple pieces of enamel decor on the chain sometimes i just feel what a waste because this kind of bag it looks very cheap so lost the aesthetic of the chanel bag sometimes i feel this type of the bag looks very childish Think about it when I turn the 50, 60, I still will wear this type of the bag, probably not, right? So this type of the bag, I also want to avoid. Moving on to the number four, that is the soul black bag. I do love the soul black bag as well. And as a matter of fact, I love it a lot because it's so gorgeous. I just like the sample and the one color. However, I think about myself, I'm not a careful person. I will get a scratch very bad on the chin, on the lock. So once you get a scratch on soul black hardware, it will be very obviously compared with the regular hardware like vintage or even the shiny hardware and the other reason is the soap black bag normally costs a little bit more than the regular hardware I don't really know why it is that's also the second reason that I would choose the regular hardware instead moving on to the last poor we'll summarize them all that is the bag I try to avoid is made by the fabric including the tweed material and the velvet material compared with the leather they may cheap like a couple hundred dollars but for the wear and the tear it will be big difference chanel bag made by fabric showing the wear and the tear loud quicker than the leather version i used to be very afraid of the lambskin leather many years ago i would style myself will never 
ever buy a lambskin leather bag from Chanel because they are very delicate and easy to get a scratch. After a couple bags I purchased with the lambskin leather, I kind of love the lambskin as well. Also the second reason is Chanel doesn't come a lot of caviar leather recent years and I cannot tell in the future whether they will come or not. Sometimes uh, they do but really really and sometimes the caviar leather style probably not what I look for it so that's also the reason pushed me to the lambskin leather I would say lambskin leather right now for me is okay I still can accept it however those fabric material I would say no to Chanel Chanel fabric bag probably not able to hold the structure well compared with the leather version even though I know the tweed is very beautiful also very classic from Chanel and some of the tweed handbag really really pretty and really nice but I consider the wear and the tear and also the price I would try to avoid the other type of the leather I will avoid is the pattern leather I'm not a big fan of the pattern leather now some of you don't agree with me that it's totally fine I also so understand a lot of people love pattern leather because they are shining they are beautiful but for me uh, I would like to consider long term over the time the pattern leather will become very sticky and they are very difficult to maintain and easily get the color transfer that's a lot of disadvantage of the pattern leather I would not prefer the pattern leather the third thing is for the pattern leather is they do look a little bit cheaper compared with the lambskin or caviar leather you can leave a comment below disagree with what I said but this is just my personal opinion other than that of course very trendy bags such as the heart shape bag or other shape like a holiday bag I will totally avoid it because this kind of bag you really able to wear them and uh, I feel still as not very uh, classic one. I know the heart shaped bag is very popular at one period of the time but I don't know how long it's going to last so those kind of type of the bags I would like to avoid lastly I would say because Chanel bags are very expensive I would highly recommend you if you consider a Chanel bag try to buy a classic style that you can last for many many years and also you can pass to your children buying Chanel bag uh, needed to think a lot of factors including whether it is holds value or not because you never know one day you may don't like this bag anymore so you want to sell you don't want to lose a lot of money so a lot of things you need to consider but yeah so this is for today's video I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video thanks bye bye